My name is Peter Maguire. In 1997, I created and launched Jazz Clubs Worldwide. The past year or so has been something of an existential crisis for the jazz scene worldwide. Upside or downside, Hit House, however, provided space and time for reflection. Jazz, My Life is a non-sequential series of my own personal recollection and thoughts about my own lifelong immersion in the world of jazz. If you feel inclined to do so, please click on the subscribe button and the notification Saxman icon. The Left Wing Coffee House, Carlisle Street, Soho, London, was a legendary venue. It was a, a coffee house devoted and founded to promote the cause of left wing politics. It served coffee, simple but good food, also had a performance space where poetry, folk music, jazz was presented on a regular basis. The clientele were in general young. An illustrious list of aficionados that included famous names John Berger, Richard Hoggart, Doris Lessing, Arnold Wesker, Christopher Logue. Um, it didn't last, it only lasted a few years but had enormous influence. Uh, they even made a program about it uh, on Panorama. Uh, Rumour has it also that the special branch used to send uh, very identifiable people to mingle with the uh, the, the, the clientele and to uh, uh, listen to uh, conversations. Well, one day I was sitting in the left wing coffee house and another regular uh, reg regular client was a poet called Iris Orton. Uh, she worked for the British Council as far as I'm aware but in fact was well known as a poet and in fact a, a regular uh, face on the Soho scene. So I'm sitting there minding my own business and Iris wanders over to me and said Peter I have just written a poem called The Creation of the World and I heard your trombone in the first ten stanzas. <laughs> uh, well on the basis of being heard in the first ten stanzas of the epic creation of the world I was booked to do a jazz and poetry gig at some point about six weeks on from this particular conversation. Uh, jazz and poetry in fact was I had, it was quite a, a notable activity at that time. Um, Christopher Logue uh, I remember did a, a famous one called Red Bird on Ivory Keys um, and various other people experimented with this. Uh, some good musicians and kind of people around the scene but some really quite notable musicians were involved in the jazz and poetry scene. So the night arrives and it's a bit it was a bit in the basement as far as I remember and the place was absolutely packed to the gills you you couldn't get in. Uh, to be absolutely frank with you uh, it was something I couldn't really take wholly seriously but I was being paid for it so I needed to have a certain uh, seriousness of attitude. Basically the musician was supposed to uh, play phrases and little bits of tunes and kind of, a kind of free jazz behind the poet who was declaiming at the front of the stage. Uh, and this uh, I did. The audience seemed to absolutely love it. They were, they were glued to their seats uh, and as promised in fact by Iris Orton my trombone was actually heard in the first ten stanzas of creation of the world. The whole performance was finished to great acclaim from the audience. Great, great acclaim. Uh, it was really only my uh, well foray into jazz and poetry. I, I, I did uh, occasionally do uh, such things in, in the north of England, particularly I remember one occasion in Hebden Bridge 
but it, it wasn't part of my regular music activities. Uh, the Left Wing Coffee House and Jazz and Poetry was redolent of that particular and very interesting period in British cultural and musical history. Thank you. 